back to Between the Creatives. I'm Jordan. I'm here today with DC Capital, longtime friend and uh, honestly a legend in the Portland hip hop scene. Yo, DC, yo, yo. yo, it's nice to have you, brother. Cheers, man. Hell yeah. Sir, sipping wine in this bitch. Delicious bottle. Yo, bro, it's nice to see you. Um, nice to see you too, man. Go ahead and uh, let everybody know a little bit about yourself, how you got started in music, and kind of like your triumphs and tribulations through the whole thing. Um. Well, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm DC Capital, uh, born and raised Portland, Oregon. Um, DC are my actual initials. Everybody asks me if I'm from like Washington. Shit, yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> but, um, Washington, DC, bro? <laughs> political? Nah, What's your? I'm, I'm, I'm here, bro. <laughs> but um. Yeah, uh, my mom, she was, she was really heavy on, like, lyricism and, like, uh, like, I don't, I don't know, like, soulful music. Yeah. So she paid attention to more, like, East Coast rappers mm-hmm. and, like, uh, I want to say, like, you know, more, like, singers and shit like that. Who was so, your like, favorite artist, uh, growing up? Um. Like, what was the one person you remember religi- religiously, like, <laughs> listening to over and over again? Snoop. Snoop? Yeah, right. heavy. Yeah, heavy. Okay. But, um, shit. There, there's so many yeah uh, like erica badu my mom really like like truth hurts yeah truth hurts was really cool dr dre used to produce yeah. for her 100%. Cool. <laughs> um yeah and then my dad was like really heavy on like west coast music too so like he liked like bass you know yeah. like heavy like hyphy music two shorts like e40 uh, yep. uh snoop as well uh you know like all those artists and stuff um yeah so it was like i kind of got the best of like both with the music i have like a a really nice taste for music. It's crazy. It's like, I don't know. I, I don't know. Genres like a broad just, range. Yeah, that's the same thing. Just like, crazy. It's like you know, if you follow me <laughs> on Instagram, you'll see like one day I'll post like some jazz artist that's totally yeah. foreign. That's probably like a French artist's name that I have no idea what the song title is. Mm-hmm. I just dig that song. Yeah. And then the next day it's like Drake or yep. something. Yeah. You know, like just, just random a playlist. Vast like majority of music, musical yeah. taste. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like playlists are like parts of your brain yeah you know what i'm yeah. saying it's like yo okay this day i'm feeling like this but you never know because yeah. if you put it on shuffle it's like oh shit wait yeah. you know like, and it's something you've never heard before he's like yeah <laughs> i feel this today <laughs> <laughs> mood for today yeah fast. <laughs> but yeah man like yeah i just i don't know just uh yeah i started making music or I actually started writing music when i was 13 28 now so yeah like yeah 15 yeah cool been making music for a minute but um yeah man started writing when i was like 13 and then uh got comfortable with putting music out when i was like 15 yeah 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 yeah. like 15 or 16 that was when i uh do you remember studio. like the name of your first project or is it even your first project Oof. still published like i <laughs> try to go and find kind of yeah. like my first if you will like first photo i ever published on like facebook yeah. or something like that and honestly i don't i can't ever find those photos because either like i got a new phone or something like that Mm -hmm. and like the photos are gone um do you still have that first project Um, out there no no i don't i deleted it off of um yeah soundcloud a long time ago only because like soundcloud did this thing where you couldn't have too many songs on there you would run out of space yeah you know so i was i was broke at the time you know i wasn't really well i wasn't really broke but i wasn't really like trying to pay for that yeah, you know? yeah so i was like uh i'm just gonna stack my bread and keep uploading yeah. well and there's like, like plenty of free ways that yeah. you can get your stuff out there yeah. like you don't always need the subscription version mm-hmm. but as long as like you have something that people can go back to yeah. like that's the biggest part mm-hmm. and i relied on my like i relied on my computer yeah. to not like fail me yeah anything you know yeah. so like i relied on my too. computer you know yeah. so i was like all right well i'm gonna just keep all these songs anyway and yeah. you know be cool but like um i have the second project that I've ever dropped. It's or ooh, no, I have one song from there. It's called French and Hill. Yeah, that was the second project I've ever dropped, nice. and yeah, it's on there. Um, the third project I dropped is on there too. So like, yeah, there's some old DC Capital out there. Yeah, I wasn't always DC Capital though. It's crazy. Oh, so you have yeah. like a alternate persona. Yeah. So <laughs> you gotta keep that uh, silent for everybody. Yeah. So then you know the true fans when yeah. they come out it's and like, be like, if "Yo, you know me, then yeah, you'll, like, you'll find it." <laughs> I found you, but it's yeah. not you. Is this you? You right. know, and you're like, yeah, you're a true fan. You know, mm-hmm. um, sure. what? Uh, how many projects have you? Uh, I guess completed since Oof. starting 
you know, well, as since you, starting, yeah, I'm gonna say, since uh, that first time you jumped in the booth, you say you have your French inhale song, but let's yeah. start there. Like how many projects have you done through the duration, I guess, till now? Damn. Um, yeah. Cause I did this project in like 20, I don't know. I was, I was really like spacious with my like projects. I did a um, project in like 2015, but then like I waited it out until like, a very long time yeah but i was just dropping singles and videos you know to keep my like buzz going i was just dropping that you know and just making people wait which i shouldn't have yeah (laughs) you never want to make people wait you always want to stay consistent yeah but um yeah i dropped a project in 2015 and then it wasn't until like i want to say 2020 it was when i was dropping projects heavy so i Mm want to say about like nine or ten projects but yeah like i dropped one in 2015 and then the rest in yeah. like 2020 you know so i was working heavy that year just yeah. going crazy on music uh what did that time that you kind of like took a break what did that kind of look like for you was it something that you felt uh you needed to do some kind of like personal growth to further your career and find kind of like a greater niche into your music or it was something yeah. where you like you were just working and grinding you took a time um, off to where you just wanted to make sure that you had everything you you're all your ducks in a row and what yeah. have you it's like a little mixture of both. Yeah. Because I wanted to like, I wanted to take time off because I put all these projects out and I feel like they weren't getting love, mm-hmm. you know. So I wanted to like promote them more and just like spend time doing that so people can actually feel my music and actually you know like listen to it. Yeah. And I was getting plays and stuff like that, but then also I wanted to take a break for myself because 100%. I was going through a lot and I was going through a lot of change and then. I had a kid. Yeah. You know, so like, I don't know, you know, preparing that's, for that. And that's probably a lot of stress in yeah, itself. It yeah, yeah, facts. A lot of stress, but like also it was, it's pretty cool transitioning yeah. into being a father is, yeah. is the dopest thing that I've ever done and the dopest thing that I could have yeah. done. You know, like, 100%. I don't know, being a father is like dope. Yeah. Especially if you can still do your dream and be a father. 100%. Why not? Yeah. Know? Yeah. But like, I don't know. I'm, I'm getting like back into making music and it feels it feels like how it did back then you know yeah so i feel i feel really good about it that's something that i've found is like uh you know during whatever i was going through during covid because you know we've all been going through whatever it is and everyone has like their own story um when i was going through all that kind of stuff i took a step back you know i didn't know if it was something it it was kind of like an imposter syndrome kind of like kicked in where I didn't know, A, why I was doing what I was doing or what I was doing, you know, and I had taken the initial jump to, like, do photography and be creative Mm -hmm. and took that step back and slowly realized that, A, it was good for me to kind of take a step back because it gave me a different perspective just to know this is what I'm doing. But also it helped me debrief to where I could look at the art that I had created over, you know, five six ten years Mm -hmm. because i feel like maybe during our grind we kind of lose i guess perspective or whatever it is that we're searching for so you kind of take that step back and then you come back to your art and you're like wow like that project right there was a banger like that song in itself was a banger Mm -hmm. what can we do with this or like maybe Mm -hmm. i can draw inspiration off of this so like i always think it's wise like Creative should always take some time for themselves because being creative in itself is super difficult yeah. and, and you straining. Don't lose you. Yeah, you don't want to lose you in your art. Like, yeah. you want to be able to preserve it to where people know that they can come back to it yeah. to enjoy it all the time. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, I think with the way things are going recently, it's 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 good for artists to be able to have that sense of like home yeah. to be able to come back to. And then be like, that was where I need to go to be able to produce like mm-hmm. really dope shit coming out from there. So, yeah. um, where do you see yourself going in like the next year or so? Do you have any cool projects coming out that the <laughs> lis- listeners can like look forward to? Or are you going to yeah. start dropping little tracks here and there, like yeah. a three piece or something like that? Tell us a little bit about uh, your future. I'm excited. Yeah, what I'm doing, like it's been long in the works, but yeah. what I wanted to do was I wanted to put at least like some years into making an album Mm -hmm. and like made sure I had the right people around me, the right energy. I wanted the right, like feel, you know, and the right push for me to make an album. And I'm I'm getting that right now. And it's, 
it's amazing because um, I was supposed to do like a Wiz Khalifa kind of 28 grams. Shout out Wiz Khalifa. Yeah. He's one Ross of from Records, rappers. man. Yeah, you I know haven't listened to this since <laughs> high school. You know, yeah. even, you know, R.I.P. Right. Mac Miller back in right. Ross from Records day, bro. Yeah, like, bro. That was a hit. It was heavy influence. You yeah, know, like, 100%. He's, he's a young dude that wants to be great. Yeah. You know, and always took inspiration from it. Yeah, 100%. You know, especially, like, when you have so many, like, I don't know, so many, like, similarities. Yeah. You know, like, I, I don't know, when you're similar to somebody and then it's like that you see them grinding and stuff. You're yeah. like, yo, I can do that too. It's like you, you see know, so like, yourself in that art. You're yeah, able to be like, know, yo, like, I relate to this. Yeah. A hundred percent. Like yeah. this person knows what I'm going through. My mom or, talks to his mom. Yeah. Which that's is weird. awesome. It's, that's it's so cool. Weird. It's how, so weird. Crazy. How did that, how, tell, how did that just it's random happen to Instagram? Instagram? Yeah, like, Instagram. Like it started from like, it was like, <clears throat> I want to say it started back in like 2019. We lived on this, uh, we lived in this house like in Northeast Portland. And yeah. She was just like commenting on her stuff you know and then they started commenting back to each other and then they started hopping in each other's dms you know and like really conversing and it's like what the hell this is like one of my favorite rappers you know what i'm saying and you're talking like mom what are you doing this is crazy (laughs) mom what are you doing you know like what the hell hey moms are gonna be the biggest uh fan the best booking agent the best agent in general like moms shout out moms yeah shout out moms yeah facts (laughs) That's now, so crazy. Um, yeah. I guess Meta's also doing their job of connecting everybody yeah. worldwide. So For I guess, real. like shout, shout out, out to non paid, you know, <laughs> you know, send the check in. Um lit. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to um yeah, do this like not necessarily like a remake of twenty eight grams, but I wanted to call my project Whole Zip. Yeah. An inspiration of twenty eight grams. Yeah. So I wanted to do my own version, but the way I wanted to do it was I wanted to drop a half ounce. Yeah. You get it? Yeah. So like, okay. like a full ounce, 28 grams. I wanted to drop <clears throat> a half ounce, 14 tracks on this project, and then come out with the deluxe right after yep. the full zip. Yeah. You know? There you go. So, <laughs> so then you, come, you have them yeah. coming back, you know? And then do that alongside with like merch and everything, yeah. especially like videos for certain <clears throat> ones that we got going for the project, you know? Try to do the whole rollout. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. <laughs> but yeah, I want to cool. I want to do a big with this project. Yeah. I want to... um. I want to have a lot of, not necessarily like a lot of features. I don't want to flood this with features, but definitely like for 28 songs, I'm going to need some features. <laughs> I wonder if there's a way to like, you know how records are just the, the I guess, non-malleable. They're yeah. just firm. I wonder if there's yeah. a way to make a record, make a two-piece record of something that's like malleable, like you could roll up, but yeah. then you sell the record as if it's a it's a doobie huh. or a pack of rolling papers or that'd something be, like that, right? So you yeah. open it up and it's like straight up, yeah, so like, yeah, and it's like know. maybe like even a rolling tray yeah, that comes like, out, like how back then, like you would open a CD, you would get the whole booklet, yeah. You know what I'm saying so that's like what, have yeah. a page in there, you know, yeah. like a separate page or whatever. And, don't make it so thick. You yeah. Know, have it like have like six papers in there. Yeah. You know, so it's like three up top, three on bottom, yeah. and then have some uh, crutches in there. Too, exactly. Just hold it up, you know, so like every time you open that, you get the album. You play that. You look through the booklet. It's just pictures and yeah. you know, like artwork and, people, and all that. You have a little you know sleeve in there where like people can yo, pull off the, crutches yeah, 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 and stuff. Smoke bro. to this one, oh and then God. label it like yo, smoke to track two, smoke yeah. to track three. Oh, I really so like it's this like an one. advent calendar yeah, yeah. of Christmas. <laughs> oh, and then you drop it on Christmas, bro. Oh my, that'd be fire. As Mind well. blown. <laughs> I would buy that. By the way, I would smoke to it. And then you listen Hell to yeah. each track, so you have that. But it's the is it the. 24 days of Christmas or the 12 days of Christmas 12, yeah, 12, 12 days, so you have 12 yeah. songs on the track mm-hmm. oh bro yeah. but that's fire we're gonna do the whole zip version you yeah, know what I'm saying fact. so you get the 14 <laughs> you get two extra bonus mm-hmm. songs so it's, yeah that would be cool actually do like a 12 days but then get two bonus songs yeah well it'll be in the works we're excited keep on mm-hmm. your toes everybody you know that's that's what you gotta look for the special holiday bonus yeah <laughs> <laughs> um your Christmas gear. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> your Christmas gear. Uh, do you have any events coming sure. up? Do you have anything um, that people maybe can like come and see you perform at, um, or maybe come and even do like a meet and greet if they like what you throw down? They see your SoundCloud and everything like that. Well, do you shit. have anything coming up? Shit, if anybody wants to do a meet and greet, I'm down. Like, yeah, I'm down. There you 
go, Free everybody. If you see, you see the links CD. on the bottom, <laughs> you'll see it. I'll put all the fire. links to be able to contact him in the bottom, yeah. just like every episode. So. Yeah, pull up, smoke with me. You know there you saying? go. You got to smoke that good, though. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Man. Um, yeah, as far as shows, they're like, shows are pretty, like, random. I'm not, like, being, like, an asshole towards, like, little shows or anything. Yeah, yeah, but, no. like, once we got off a tour, I kind of started seeing things, like, a little different. Yeah. And, like, I kind of want to do, not kind of want to do better. I'm going to do better because this is, I don't know. I've, I've taken a long break, and I've seen a lot, and I want to see more with same. the same people that I've been grinding with. Yeah. You know, and it's cool. I think that's, like, a, <laughs> still humble. yeah, it, I think that's, like, a common theme through creatives, at least, that I've just talked to, is the past two years for everybody, not even just creatives, have yeah. been very challenging. And everyone wants to be able to take that step to be able to be like, yes, like yeah. this is the year to where we go out and do something. Cause mm-hmm. hey, we've been locked up, you know, we've yeah. been, you know, kept in our homes. Um, partying a lot too. And, you know, partying a lot yeah. too. And mm-hmm. I think that's, that's one of the things that maybe people kind of lose sight of is that like brotherly love aspect of everything too. Mm-hmm. Like, I think, again, we get caught up so much on our daily grind yeah. that we kind of, lose those relationships yeah. that maybe pushed us more towards the things that we wanted to do yeah. or uh, molded us in the ways that we wanted to see ourselves. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's and what with, I'm all for. With any know? like real person though, like it has to respect that, you know, and like see the process and see the grind. Like yeah. if you're a real friend and true to that person, you should see that. Yeah. You know, that they're and trying support. to better themselves yeah. and do better. And yeah. you should support that, you yeah. know, because you are their friend. Exactly. You know, that's the whole title. And I mean, you would want that done to yourself too. Yeah. Like if you were in a low spot and you wanted to like promote yourself or even promote other people by doing something yeah, dope. You should like, want your friend to. Yeah. You, you would know. want, I mean, even then, like, support local creatives like mm-hmm. e- the you, you don't know how much it means when some random person that you a have never even met mm-hmm. comments like this is fire yeah. or like dope video yeah. on your on your stuff and you're yeah. like holy like someone that i don't even know is supporting, it's supporting me. me way yeah. harder than somebody that i yeah. know and it's crazy it's crazy um, yeah. you find a lot of support that way yeah. though but also it's like eye-opening and i think something a lot of creatives do ultimately need to go through yeah. um, because at the end of the day in the creative field it is you as the creative yeah. like you are the one to push yourself forward you need to mm-hmm. be creating your art uh, focusing on it honing in on it you know all that kind of stuff yeah. um, and that's just you know that's the beautiful thing of art is mm-hmm. being able to like transcribe the world the beauty of the world bring it to fruition for other people to experience yeah. too you know mm-hmm. and music is a beautiful way to do that yeah you know? music is music is everybody's language it is. music is for everyone music is when i think of music i think about like okay a black and white room but there's a jukebox or like a boom box in there mm-hmm. you you put a tape in or something mm-hmm. you press play on that tape and it plays any type of song, but a song for that person, mm-hmm. and it lights up the whole room. Yep. You know, it, different it, it colors, brings different things. vibrant colors yeah. to the room. And know, it's like, all about what the person feels, and yeah. that, yeah. And it That's just, what I hope AI does, yeah. is, like, I want to be able to walk into a, no, like, buy an iPod or something, yeah. Yeah. and the iPod Put it on shuffle. <laughs> is, like, yeah, the old-school translucent Game Boy type feel, yeah. but, like, it's, it changes colors, like a mood mm-hmm. ring. Or it's, something, yo. right? Like a combination <laughs> of like a mood ring and yeah. technology, but like for everyday today. consumer stuff mm-hmm. or something. I don't know. Haven't seen it, but yeah. it'd be cool. That with flying cars, because we were supposed yeah, to have right, that right, by right. now, you know? <laughs> but, you know Teleportation yeah. devices. Teleportation. <laughs> I was supposed to like beam up to a spaceship by now. You know, Instant transmission yeah. on my Hollywood audio. TV had it all wrong. <laughs> I'm still walking places, but we have bird scooters. Yeah. So, you know, right, right. We're good. We're yeah. good. We can get anywhere we, we can get anywhere we want to. <laughs> um, well, I guess we're running on about 20 minutes. Um, is there anything else that you wanted to go ahead and promote of yourself or anything that people should know that are listening to this? Uh, feel free um, to promote anything um, that's on your mind, whether it's even in yeah. any other individuals. You know, yeah. Well. Um, 
Shout out to the whole team, man. Shout out Bless uh, 93, you know what I'm saying? Shout out my bro, Julia. Shout out uh, Frizo, you know, shout out Lambo Lawson, um, AODT, HIS, uh, Jonah Banks, um, uh, Dior Worthy, shout out Matt Randall, shout out Rip City Heroes, shout out Pac, um, Bossick, you already know, that's my yeah. videographer. Yeah, forever. bro. Um, shout out everybody, shout out G6, um, shout out you, you yeah. know what I'm saying, for no, having me. 100%. Um, shout out my girlfriend, she really like puts up with a lot and she really like puts me through a lot too yeah. like music wise she's she's really like calming on yeah. me you know shout out um yeah all her friends shout out everybody that like you know holds me strong shout out my family um you can yeah be on the lookout for uh essentials i got a new video dropping uh probably next week actually this upcoming week yeah this upcoming week? It, yeah, this upcoming Do you have week. like a, a firm date or something just um, in case this gets posted a little bit later or anything mm, like that? Let's say the eight. The eight. Yeah, no, let's say the the mm. month of January, <laughs> February, and March. Yeah, you can say find the, it. <laughs> the tenth. The tenth. Yeah, the tenth of January. Yeah, yeah. January. The tenth right. of January. So, just Video in case time. this is posted a little bit later, you know, the 10th of January, you know, <laughs> if it's later than the 10th of January, yeah. that's out. You should go look at that. Yeah, if it's people. not, you should have it on your radar. Yeah, you exactly. should have it on your calendar, your Google calendar, your YouTube calendar, whatever calendar that you best function off of yes. in order to capture that. Mm -hmm. And I think it would be really cool to change up the podcast a little bit yeah. and maybe play a little video. I think that would be dope. That's fine. Do you have a video that you specifically like on your YouTube that's published right now, yeah. like uh, that you would like me to play? Do you have um, a specific thing? Damn, like a favorite video? Yeah, favorite video. Mm, favorite video of mine, I would have to say <laughs> OG Smoke. OG Smoke. I like that right. video a lot. Let's get it. It's a cool song. Let's try this. This is the first time I have transitioned the podcast. Mm -hmm. To another scene. So, if it's not what you guys anticipated, you the viewers, go ahead and type in OG Smoke on your YouTube or any uh, search engine that you would like to search it. OG Smoke by D DC Capital. Yeah. There's also fun. another DC Capital too, which is not that DC. Capital. Yeah, it is. It's kind of weird. You'll know the two. You'll know. The <laughs> You'll know the difference. Yeah. Right? And plus, you'll be able to see the screen once I transition, mm -hmm. which I'm going to do it right now. So see, you can see it. And we're going to go ahead and mute this audio and have our desktop audio take over while DC and I just kind of kick it and hang out. And you guys enjoy this video. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Cloud nine, nigga, I'm hard to find. 
Unpredictability, location, money, time. The struggle made a lovely hustle. I was built to shine. So I need everything, can't afford to waste a dime. I count that cake in the morning. When I wake up, you still snoring. Man, them hotels getting boring. But now we plotting on touring. Checking, I'm out in a foreign.